Hola, buenos dias, good morning my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Daniela aka Miss Four Lizard aka the Planning Diva and today I'm going to be filming one of my favorite videos to film which is a flip through of my Happy Planner solar system. Thank you so much for all the support and love that I've been receiving on these videos, I really do appreciate it and I'm so happy you're enjoying it. So if you're interested in seeing a flip through of my Happy Planner solar system and checking out all of the new spreads that I've done so far between my two mega planners, just keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this in one video, so I'm just gonna have to fly through this flip through. So we're gonna start with my functional planner. This is my colorful leopard uh, mega planner. I have seven different happy planners, Franken planned or combined into this one planner. And this planner is kind of like my functional planner. Um, it's the one that I work on or work in more on the day to day because it has more of my like work stuff, my fitness, my household, my budget, like my nonprofit work. Things that are a little bit more serious and less like fun type of uh, journaling and planning, if that makes sense. So I just want to share with you uh, a couple of things that I've done in this planner um, that I, that's changed since my last flip through. I've started decorating the, um, the year at a glance page with a couple of stickers and I've just slowly been filling out a couple of things that are going to happen um, in the coming months. So this these pages are always kind of hard to decorate because you kind of want to leave them as blank as possible so you can fill them in but also um, they're just there's not much space here so uh, yeah they're a little bit hard to decorate but I've been decorating them um, lately which has been great and let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there we go so we have my sticky note dash um, and then my first planner here so I'm going to try to share with you the planners that I use for each one of my planner sections. This is my skinny mini wildflower, pan, uh, wildflower planner and I use this for affirmations, prayers, positivity. It takes me like 30 seconds to a minute a day to fill this out. I also like to use the calendar, the monthly calendar as a mood tracker. But I'm going to be sharing with you the filled in spreads from last week, which I showed you in the previous flip through, but they were blank back then. So I'm going to show you the filled out spreads for this, this current week. And then I'm going to show you um, the blank spreads for the upcoming week. So this was the filled out spread for this week. I used some crafting stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design. And then this is the... Um, uh, decorated but unfilled uh, upcoming week which I think I used um, happy quote stickers uh, it's a I think they're from this book but I'm not <laughs> entirely sure so there's that and then I just have more stickers uh, my daily section oh by the way check out these new hourly schedule daily sheets that I that I've uh, been experimenting with and playing around with I'm obsessed with the very hungry caterpillar so I printed out a couple of those I have some wellness sheets in here as well and some blank filler paper my sleep section I ended up filling out my entire uh, sleep uh, table here and so I made a new one with a new mood tracker um, section. I really like how this, uh, how I set up my sleep table um, this time around. And then we have my magic section, my Aztec calendar. So these planner sheets are from this Disney Mickey Mouse dashboard planner. Really, really cute. I use this for my spirituality, my faith, my prayer, my magic. Um, and so this was the uh, blank spread I showed in my last flip through. This is it, uh, kind of filled out at the end of the week. And then this is my upcoming spread for the upcoming week. And I love using Recollections uh, Celestial stickers and I also used some Pastel Blooms clear stickers in here as well. And then 
fast forward to my academic section here. So this is the week filled out, and then this is the upcoming week. And I believe I also used Happy Quotes sticker book for this spread, and I'm not in love with this spread, honestly. Um, I just feel it's kind of random, but it is what it is. <laughs> we'll see how I... I, I always feel like things um, look better after they're filled out as well, so... And the pages for uh, my academic section come from this Disney Mickey Mouse uh, undated vertical planner. Really, really cute. So let's move on to my fitness section. I have some stickers here, my monthly calendar, and this here is the current week. And as you can see, it's all filled out except for a couple of things here on the weekend because it is Sunday and I just didn't manage to fill out some of the stats here. But yeah, it was a good week. Um, it was hard to stick to my fitness uh, schedule this week, honestly. It, it was really hard. Um, I did get some good workouts in, but honestly, I, I felt like I could have done more, and I also had a bit of trouble um, resisting some, some uh, you know, some junk food this, this week. So as you can see down here, I had fries, I had ice cream, I had, you know, sushi, and um, yeah, so next week will be better. And then this is next week here. I just have my little exercise and dinner plan schedule and I have decorated it all out and uh, set it all up for me for next week. And I'm hoping that my workout and my eating um, improves this week. So there we have my fitness. Oh, let me, I forgot to put in my bookmark. And the pages uh, for my fitness come from the Rong Rong Fitness Planner. Really, really cute. So that's my fitness. Moving on to my household section. I have a bunch of household related stickers just clipped into here at the beginning. And then I've also been decorating the monthly a little bit more with a bunch of, I think these stickers are from the Pastel Tropics. But let's skip to the current week. So this is the current week here, and uh, so you saw the blank, the blank spread last uh, last week. If you were following, or if you watched that um, that flip through, and actually I need to um, fill out some of these tasks here. I did that. I did that. Uh, I did that. I did that. I did that. Mm, okay, so I still need a couple of tasks here and there that I got to do. Cool, but um, yes. Oh, and I got to uh, do laundry today. So let me grab a laundry sticker and pop it down here so that I remember to do laundry. So I actually got um, a pack of stationery from my Marshalls uh, with these weekly meal plan layouts and I've been really trying to up my meal plan game. I felt like this was going to be really helpful in helping me like organize my meal planning. And so I just, um, they're a bit larger than the Happy Planner pages so I had to kind of cut it down to size and then punch it to get it in here but um, I've been really enjoying that. And let me pop this back in here. And these dashboard pages come from the Adventure Awaits Desert Dreams um, dashboard planner, which is one of my all-time favorites. I love dashboard for household-related uh, things. So there's that. And then this is the upcoming week here. I used a Pastel Tropics sticker book and I really am loving the summer vibes here. And then moving on to the second to last planner here. So this is my community service, my nonprofit work. This was, um, was this the past week? No, this was the past week. So I have a lot of drawings in in this um, particular planner because I do I do like produce content. I'm a content creator for this science communication organization. So I like to do a lot of like drawing and then I share my drawings on like social media and stuff. So that's why I have all these drawings in here. And um, yeah, this was the past week it's all filled out. And then this is the upcoming week here. 
um, and I've been really loving drawing these wash or like putting these washi tape frames into my spread to kind of provide like a section for me to doodle in and draw in. It's been really, really helping me be consistent with my content creation. And these pages are from the Stephanie Fleming vertical planner that says define your passion, nurture your creativity, and take hold of your dreams on the front. And yes, so such a good neutral planner. So that is my nonprofit section. And lastly, I have my budget section here. And my budget section comes from this Savvy Saver budget planner. And it's pretty boring, so I'm not going to flip through it. I also don't want you to see how much I spend on ice cream and stickers. So we're just going to skip this section. But that's my budget section. And so those are all of the spreads, both uh, the filled spreads from last week as well as the unfilled spreads for the upcoming week. And I hope you enjoyed flipping through those. So, okay, good. We're only at 12 minutes here. So we're going to flip through the eight planners that I have in my fun planner. And I actually just switched up the cover here. I used to have um, this horizontal, or I mean this pressed florals cover on my fun planner. But um, I just felt like switching it up to this one here because it just screams summer to me and I want to hold on to summer as long as possible. And I think it looks really, really cute on the lavender and the hot pink discs here. So this is my fun planner and I call it my fun planner because it's less functional for me. It's less a planner for me as it is a journal, a workbook, a scrapbook. And I tend to work in this one more if I have some downtime, you know, if I'm just chilling. Whereas um, my colorful leopard planner is a little bit more serious, a little bit more functional. So I still have the uh, the cover pages and the calendar from the pressed florals in here. But yeah, I have my envelope, some sticky notes, and a, a folder with some stationery, some daily sheets, some filler paper. And let's get to my first section, which is my garden section. Let's get this in a frame here. And these pages come from the Feel All the Feels uh, Skinny Classic Planner. This is my garden section, and I keep track of all my garden needs in here. So this is the filled out uh, current week, and then this is the upcoming week. I used um, just gardening stickers from the Happy Planner, and I used this butterfly potted plants theme. I think it looks really, really cute, and I'm happy with how this one turned out. So then we skip to my Zen uh, planner here. And uh, so my Zen planner is my meditation and mindfulness journal. And these pages come from this fitness planner, the Strength From Within fitness planner. And I always love decorating in a very calming theme, calming, calming color palette for this one. And I just, uh, I, I just take notes from a mindfulness book I'm reading and also just, um, just kind of like write down, um, uh, kind of like ideas when it comes to meditation and things like that. So this was the current week and then this is the upcoming week. And yeah, this one was really, really cute. So let me pop this back in. And then we can move on to my journal. So this was the current spread uh, and I wrote a lot because I just had a lot going on. I needed to journal about. And then this is the upcoming week spread. I used a Dream Seeker uh, sticker book from the Happy Planner and this boho theme. I think it's really cute. And yeah, I'm excited for this one. So I'm just gonna pop this back in. And then, uh, oh, this, these pages are horizontal, are the horizontal layout, and those pages come from my pressed florals horizontal classic sized planner. And then next we have my current events uh, workbook. And this planner is basically my uh, current events journal, and I, I like listening to the news and I like writing down. Uh, some of the more interesting things I hear on the news it helps me remember, retain it, and process, you know, international, national affairs a bit more. So this was the current week I used pressed florals. 
sticker book and I actually uh, these lined vertical pages come from this colorful leopard uh, planner that I'm using the cover on for my other planner so yeah that was the uh, current week and then this is the upcoming week and I really like to decorate kind of minimally in this planner because uh, I like to write a lot in it so there we go and then we have my next section which is my language learner section um, as this is where I, I practice my Japanese and my Python and so this is the current week and it's not filled out at all because <laughs> I just didn't have the time or the energy uh, to really uh, do a lot of Japanese I did do quite a bit of Japanese this week but it was because I was catching up on uh, last last week and so I barely was able to get up to the current week which is actually closer to where I um, closer to the current date than I was last week so I have made progress I just haven't made it all the way to the current day but I'll definitely um, work on my Japanese today and maybe I'll get up to Thursday or Friday so this is the uh, past week, and then this is the upcoming week, all decorated, super cute. I love using kawaii stickers in my language learner planner and using really bright and colorful stickers. And something that I've been enjoying doing lately is clipping in my little Japanese um, like workbook pages here with this Winnie the Pooh clip, and that way I could just have it there in that section. So there we go, and then I colored this pusheen and popped it here on the uh, monthly overview since I don't really use these overviews too much, so I just like decorating them. Oh, and before I forget, those pages, the lined vertical pages, come from this Celebrate Lined Vertical Planner. Um, yeah, very, very cute, such a cute planner, and yeah, this is one of my favorite planners. And then let's move on to my next section, which is my reading section. This is my reading journal. I'm a huge bookworm. I like to journal about what I'm reading. And I also do book videos on my YouTube. And so it kind of helps me to like remember what I want to talk about during like book videos. So this was past week um, all filled in. And then this is the upcoming week. I did a pirate theme. I actually did a plan with me. Uh, I filmed a plan with me on my channel. So if you're interested in checking that out, go and check that out. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna pop in my bookmark. And I'm using this planner here, the Welcome to the Book Club Horizontal Classic Planner for these pages here. It's so perfect for a reading journal. And then moving on to my four lizard section. So this is my YouTube planner section. Everything that has to do with YouTube goes in here. And so this was the past week all filled in. And then this is the upcoming week. I used um, Sweet Co. Wide Design crafty stickers and Lisa Frank stickers. And these pages are the color block vertical. And they're actually uh, from the this planner, the the jungle vibes planner here so uh, yeah the spread is so much fun so we're almost done here i think we just have one more section left to go i'm shocked that i did all this in 20 minutes i used to like take an hour to do all to like flip through all of my um planners I mean, I have 15 planners, so it does take quite a bit. So my last section is my scrapbook section. This is my social life, my family and friends section. And I have two months worth of this planner in here because um, I just like seeing all the pictures. And uh, the first month, or my June month, is from the uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Undated Vertical Planner. and. Uh, because I got this really beautiful um, vertical florals planner that starts in July, I ended up switching to that one in July. And so there's my monthly. And let's flip to um, the current week here. Yes. So this planner, um, like I mentioned before, it's one of the only planners that I am always kind of behind, like two or three weeks, because I tend to take pictures of all the events that I, you know, that are happening. And then I print them out and then paste them into my planner. And so I don't really 
always like immediately print out the photos every single week i kind of like wait until i have a couple of photos all stored up and so i haven't been able to print out a couple of photos for this weekend here so i haven't finished decorating it and then this is the current week here and i haven't even um like decorated at all but i've just taken notes using sticky notes about things that happened um, with family and friends and so that way i can go ahead and um and decorate when it when it's time to decorate so i haven't at all decorated for this coming week because of that reason and yeah that's it those are all of my uh, planners. So we just went through 15 planners and 30 different spreads. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed that whirlwind tour through my planner solar system. I call these my happy uh, mega planners because they're so big, they're so chunky, and there's just so much going on in them. But that's kind of how I like doing things, honestly. I like having... Uh, a lot a lot to work with and creativity is a muscle and the more you exercise it the stronger it becomes and honestly like all sticker lovers out there i have tons of stickers i have so much crafting materials and the only thing you can do with that stuff is use it and you can really like go through 15 spreads no problem um, because you just have so many stickers and it's it's an exercise you, i definitely experiment with sticker formats and layouts and what i like doing and i just have fun and play around with it you know not every spread has to be perfect you're just trying to exercise that process and and uh, engage creatively creatively i hope you enjoyed my flip throughs let me know which one was your favorite planner or your favorite spread and i will catch you in my next video hasta luego take care of yourselves stay blessed and thank you so much for your support and your kindness bye